Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Young So Boho. I just saw somebody walk past the window. And that is my backyard. Oh, it's a delivery. I'm hoping the dog did not hear that or see the delivery truck because then it's going to be chaos. All right, take two. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy. I'm owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Um, you know what's funny about that window is somebody, I think two people actually pointed out that they thought I had a wonderful view back there. I think I had a big sunbeam or something that day and it looked like an ocean. I'm not sure, but this is just the top of a Prius. <laughs> That's a little bit of grass in the backyard. <laughs> All right, so tonight we are gonna go thrifting. If you don't know, that's what I do here. I live a thrifted life. If that is something that you are interested in, uh, hello and welcome. And I hope you stick around and I hope that you subscribe. Um, all of my friends coming back, hello. It's nice to see ya. Uh, this week is gonna be fun. Tonight I am taking you to the Volunteers of America. It is a brand new location in Willoughby, Ohio. And I have not yet been here. So this is my first trip here. My aunt has been a couple of times. I think they've been open for maybe two to three months. So I'm finally getting over there. I was with my friend Julie on this day. She had a doctor's appointment near there. So this is the place I chose to visit after her appointment. And we found some really nice things. So I'm excited to take you there and to show you what I found. So just a couple of quick things before we go shopping. One, this beautiful hammered silver piece I bought it from my friend Heather Elizabeth. Um, her channel is the Antique Agenda. This is the first time that I've worn it, so I'm just kind of admiring it. <laughs> and I thought I would point it out and say, thank you very much, Heather Elizabeth. It is gorgeous and I love it and it fits and I'm thrilled. The second thing is this week, Thursday, mom will be here for a live sale. So if you wanna come hang out, no pressure to buy, but I will bring some things to sell and we'll just have our normal good time. Bring a glass of wine or a glass of water or just a sassy attitude, <laughs> whatever you wanna bring. Before the live, I will actually be airing a video about my booths. I've had a lot of people asking about them and it's really good timing because in about a week, week and a half, so on March 4th, which is a Saturday, our friend Yvonne Thrifty Rich is going to do another booth talk. So it turns out that this is kind of timely, but I am going to show everybody the booths, uh, take a look at how I reorganize some things, especially in my original boho booth and also give you a tour around the shops by the lake. So if you have never been there before, you can kind of see part of it. We'll do a little bit of it because it's a really large place. <laughs> so that is the plan for Thursday. So I will still put out a video on Thursday, but it will be just a little different. It'll be about the booths. And so if you're interested in that, I'll probably air that a little bit earlier, probably around five or so so that you have plenty of time to watch it if you want to before you join us live at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So without further business, let's go check out the Volunteers of America in Willoughby, Ohio. Let's go. This place is enormous. Anything blue is 25% off and then yellow is 50 and pink is 75. What'd you find? <laughs> little bride and groom. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, I like that duck. The little fluffy duck. This is pretty. Yeah, it looks like they're Chips. chipped up, yeah. Look at all the socks. They're all brand new though. I was gonna say, look at how cute all the Disney socks are with the little Mickeys and stuff. I love those. Those are so cute. All right, we're getting serious. We got a cart, so she's gonna put her picture in it to think about it. All right, she's gonna think about this, but while she's thinking, we'll keep it in the cart. So I'm really excited about checking this place out. All the hard goods are near the back, and we're gonna hit the way, way back first because I've been waiting on Julie and I had a big iced coffee. So we're going there first, and then we're gonna check the rest of this stuff out. Ooh, look at all the art. I'm excited. All right, 
Let's check out some of this art. Ooh, that looks like I paint my number. But it's really nicely framed. Let's check it out. What color is it? Is that blue? Because blue, I think, was, what, 25% off? I definitely think the animals and the landscapes would sell a little bit better than a house. And I don't think this is old. I would definitely be on it if it was uh, vintage. Yeah, somebody got it professionally framed, though. At Hobby Lobby. So, 25% off, $6.00 would make it what about 450 mm, I'll think about it it's really nicely framed that's for sure I'll have to maybe look it up okay, let's see what else they have the only thing is with one hand here it's gonna be hard for me to pull the stuff forward without it falling out so I'm going to use two hands and I'll be back if I find something. No luck in the art department, but I have a beef. So if anyone who works here or sees this, I looked through all of these and I can do that because I'm almost six foot tall. But these, moving these, um, if you are here, ask for assistance because literally I was holding with all my strength the top ones as I was looking in the back. And that's probably not smart. We're also going to be dealing with some uh, music issues here because I hear Mick Jagger <laughs> overhead. I like this big lamp up here, but I think that's modern. It'd be cute for a dorm room though. So nothing in the lamps. Checking out the electronics. Y'all know I don't really do too much in the way of these things. Although I have had some luck with few things. Is this one of those hot dog makers? Yeah. You put two hot dogs in there and you put your buns in there. It's in good condition. Um, but no box. Hmm. Might be fun just to have one. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. I love mine of this, this egg cooker. I wonder if Jules needs one. If she likes hard boiled eggs. It's super easy to make six of them at a time i'll have to ask her anything else over here look at that old popcorn popper the popcorn pumper <laughs> look at that not seeing anything else over here these walks are cool west bend and that guy doesn't have a base but look at this it's kind of nice what's the inside look like it's very lightweight though i'm surprised at how lightweight it is oh that don't look so good in there <laughs> what is it <laughs> you want that <laughs> i can't even tell what it is chili, chili peppers distilled white vinegar where do it's, I don't know it's extremely old it's even evaporated why do they put these things out here I don't understand it I'm gonna start a campaign against them I found this cute Kate Spade mug um, but it looks like there's some marking in the bottom even though it's got its box um, they're asking $2.99 no discount although the mug that I found was not worth very much keep an eye out for this library book one these are made by Lennox, and this one is worth somewhere between $75 and $85. Yeah, like a cheese dip or um, they usually do like a potato, like a, a gratin potato. That's what a lot of these size dishes are for. And I don't have this size, and that's only $0.99, cents, which is awesome. This guy has a little bit of an old chip right there, um, but I don't even have these. I don't have the little ramekins like this. I'll pick up these three for sure. If you don't know, I have a rather large collection of Hall Brown Drip. Hall is the pottery company. 
H-U-L-L. It is an Ohio pottery company. It is no longer in existence, just like McCoy, which was its neighbor and a competitor. Um, they're all gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> and although I had seen these things before, um, yeah, they never made it into my collection. This is like an au gratin dish. It's a nice kind of serving for two size, which I love. And then speaking of serving for two, little ramekins. I really like the little handles on them. I think that's a nice little detail. So two little ramekins and an au gratin dish for 99 cents a piece, making this little bundle $3.00. I was okay with that. So into my collection, these will go. I will include a photo here of my main cupboard full of dishes, just so you can see what these are being added to. But yeah, that's where they're going. My mom had a bowl like this. This bottom bowl is so out of shape. It's so funny. I saw something over here too that was interesting. What's this? It's just like very heavy glass. That's blown. And it needs clean. Three bucks, huh? I don't know, that's kind of cool. We'll think about that too. This is a pretty little piece of pottery. Look at that. We got damage. We got no signature. Looking at the bottom makes me think it's just kind of a mass produced thing. Which we don't like, is that Wedgwood? It doesn't feel like Wedgwood, no. It's fake Wedgwood. Look at how neat that is. That has a cool vintage vibe. Let's check out the baskets and things in this aisle. I saw this little honey pot here too. This is cute. It's got little bees. Oh, well, hello. We like that name on the bottom. We like that a lot. I don't even think I gotta look that one up. I was surprised when I popped it over and I saw that La Crusade on the bottom. I paid $2.99 for this, and it looks like this should go for somewhere between $40 and $50, which is awesome. Um, those are the listings for pre-owned on eBay. And it looks like if you find the orange one, you can get a little bit more but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm very happy to find something for $3 that's going to flip for 10 times plus my money. So I like that. We got some vases here. Do you say vase or vase? Vase. Yeah, we say vase. We definitely are not vase people. We're vase people. Oh gosh, feel how light that is. Somebody drew on that, but my goodness, that feels like you could crack it just by picking it up. That's a nice older one. This is kind of cool. What is this? Ooh, that is cut through. No way. That is all cut through. It's probably laser. That's a nice piece. $6.99. Originally, it looks like they got it from Goodwill. <laughs> it's got some modern stickers on it, but that's nice. I'm tempted on that, but it's really not my style, so I'll pass, but oh, look at that cute little planter with those little flowers. That's modern. Modern trying to look old. Got a little crock back here with some stripies. That looks like a Robinson Rand's bottom. Definitely kind of a 90s vibe going on there. Nothing too special. What's this guy down here? He's got a neat color and he is China made modern. Moving on. What is this guy back here though? I'm on a Buddha kick. $3.99 for a little resin Buddha. I think we'll pass on him. Aw, I just got and sold this guy. It's an Andrew by Zaduk. Actually, this is a bluebird. I just bought and sold a different one. He is darling. Yes, I might have to get him because I wonder who bought him. They might need his brother. 
So it just had another one of these. It was a gold finch and I sold it in January's on live sale. And I think Janet bought it. Janet, did you buy it? <laughs> um, but I believe that's who it went to. So Janet, you'll have to let me know if you had a collection of these little baby birds or if you need him because I have him. <laughs> Saw him on the shelf and I was like, oh, and then I realized he was slightly different than the last one that I had. But man, is he adorable or what? This guy's sassy. I wish he didn't have that bow on him. I like his face and his sassy expression. Uh-oh. Duck down. I open it. If I'm going to buy it, I get in there. Really it's a Dickens church. And I'm obsessed with churches. Yeah. Like, Is it supposed to have... No? It looks to be in really nice condition. They kept it in the box. It's got its light. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, it's missing a back yeah. cross. It's not in the box to be glued on. Probably not. I didn't hear or see anything when you lifted no. it up. How much are they asking for it? $3.99. Three, four bucks. If you're just gonna put it with your village stuff, you never even notice that. It's gonna all be lit up. It has an unburned candle in it. You can be my unspecial, my unspecial uh, friend. Unspe <laughs> <laughs> you can find your own way home. <laughs> I got a burner here. I don't know enough about Sunsies to know if it's a Sunsy. Is it a Sunsy? It's a Lori Henson. Sunsy. I think that's a marriage. I think that this is not the right thing for the top of this, but we'll look it up. This is a pink ribbon Sunsy. Let me check it out. Here on end cap, and I spotted this little, it's a match book. It's kind of damaged. I'm second guessing it now, but I think that's 99 cents half off. And it's just weird enough. I'm not sure what order of orders that is. Um, I'll have to do a Google lens search, but for 50 cents, it's kind of cool. It's got a little strike pad right there. Probably grab that. I used Google Lens to look at it and Google did not deliver any results on it. So I don't know. It's a big C and it looks like a building, an upside down pyramid or two. Maybe that's an I in there. I don't know. <laughs> what I loved about this though, it looks like this is hand constructed, just the way that it's built. It's definitely vintage and it is a shoe, right? Like a slipper but it's a matchbox holder. It looks like maybe this had a little bit of a better, you know, drawer pull there. It's not existing anymore, but there's enough that you can kind of grab it. And then the striker pad is right there on the bottom. It's probably gonna go over to the booth. Maybe somebody will see it and recognize it. I'll probably put it in one of my uh, cases that has smalls in it. And yeah, I don't know. I'll probably put a price on it that's comparable to other things like this, but it's kind of a mystery. So if you know what that means, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be curious. Or if you have any guesses or if there's anything in the symbolism here that you do recognize and can tell me, you know, any part of it. Okay, so I was checking out some of these tins down in here. I might come back and look again to see if there's anything I'm interested in. But the first thing I picked up had this on the front of it. It says I cans. They're asking five bucks. And I felt that it had something in it, so I opened it. And here are some headphones. They are called Ultrasone. And I did a quick look up on these, and this looks to be a really nice grab. So that was kind of a happy little accident. Looks like maybe there's something going on here. This one. I'm gonna have to look them over really good, but they look new. That just looks scrunched there. I don't know. 
Maybe it's supposed to be like that because I see the same thing on this side. All right, well, that's good. They look new. I mean, the label's still on here, so yay. It pays to open boxes and apparently tins because this is not something that I would have normally been drawn to. I like vintage stuff. I like the older tins. So it said I cans on it and I don't think I would have opened it until I picked it up and realized that it wasn't empty. That's what was in there. And it turns out that these are probably worth a little bit of money. It seems like the last ones that sold were like $75 and that's pretty awesome, right? Now, I have had a chance to check these out, like put them on, and the sound is really nice. So there's a chance also that I might keep them. I don't know what it is about my ears. It's like the only small thing on my whole body, but I am not good with the earbuds. They always kind of hurt my ears after a while, but I do like sometimes to be able to do my editing and stuff here at the computer, um, you know, in headphones. So I, I have really nice wireless earbuds, but I can't have them in for too long. And these felt really comfortable on my ears, on my head, and they were really nice quality. So I might end up keeping these. We'll see. I mean, $75. If I ever decided to get actual headphones like this, I'd probably spend more than that. So yeah, I might keep them. <laughs> These struggles of a reseller, I tell you. <laughs> I found some kitcheny things over here and I saw these in here. Nothing too old. I mean, they have some age to them, um, but nothing like with a painted handle. Although I did see this in here and this is one of those Springerly, it's just a small one. It's not as detailed as the one I found before, but it's fun and it looks like it's only a dollar, so I might pick that up. I found one of these last year. It was a little nicer, it was a little wider. I think it had like four sections and the little critters were more detailed. They make like a decorative biscuit. Um, they're German and the biscuits or the cookies are called Springerly. So that's all I know about this. So I'll either add this to one of our sales here on YouTube or I'll take it over to the shop and put it in with the rest of our rolling pins just because it's unique and kind of fun. I did run into like a single wooden one that looks like something that we should be on the lookout for. So I'll share a picture of that right over here and keep an eye out for that. This one's probably a 10 or $12 piece, but when you could pick them up for 99 cents, that makes sense. Tempted to go through some of these. Oh, here's one of these guys. We use ours all the time. I'll have to look this one up. This is made by Grill Pro. Always good to have one in the camper and at home. Since I recently found a knife, um, I look down in this box, I see all these knives in here. And this label right here is a very good one. So I'm gonna check these out. I also see this one has a paper sheath on it. Um, but this is definitely a pickup. I see another one here. Is that the same knife? Mm, no, it's a lookalike. Um, it does have a tang that goes all the way down, but there's no information on the blade, so we're gonna leave that. But check, we're gonna check this out and check it all the way down in here and see what else is in there. Maybe about three videos ago, I have a thumbnail of me <laughs> with a knife that I found in a lot of kitchen stuff. Now this knife, I recognize that name on there. It's like Wusthof. It's made in Germany. There's the information there. And this is what's called like a hollow edge. And I guess that's a really good thing because these knives sell for pretty good money. I've seen them sell with free shipping over $70. That's awesome when you could pick one up for 99 cents. <laughs> and it's so funny because the woman who was working there, who I knew from the Aurora location, she saw that name and she was like, ooh, you got a deal. She said, I don't think that would have made it through in my store. And I said, yeah, I know. 
Um, she said that too about the brown drip and I don't think she saw the Le Creuset <laughs> or she probably would have said that about that one too. And I don't know if she even knew what these were, but she probably would have said that about this too. I definitely got some deals on this day, but keep an eye out for these knives. I talked about this last time, but the cooks, like the chef's knives, the higher quality ones, the tang will travel all the way down through the handle like this. That's a good indication that you have a quality knife if you can see that. So I'm gonna get this listed on eBay and that'll be a nice little flip for 99 cents. Look at this in the package. Solo bathroom dispenser. <laughs> get your little gold cups out of there. Look at the graphics on this, oh my gosh. I wonder how many of these survived. We're definitely gonna look this up. The plastic wrap on this is so brittle because it's so old. So this is a 1970s dispenser for your bathroom and it has the cups and everything in there. And it's so funny. It says special offer with the cups, 19 cents. That was a good deal. I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it was so much fun. They're not worth a lot of money. And it's so funny because I looked on eBay expecting this to be rare because who would have kept this in the packaging? Like these were meant to be bought and used, but apparently a lot of people did because there's quite a few that are listed over on eBay. Uh, I think it's probably a 10 to $15 item and I just think it's fun. It'll probably end up over at the booth. I'll put a few bucks on it. It's a nice little throwback piece. Love that 70s gold. <laughs> And that, my friends, is the end of our adventure on this day. We found some really nice things. I didn't spend that much money, but I found a few bolos, and that's always exciting. Just selling the La Creuset Honey Pot and the Vostov Knife, um, that pays for the whole day plus some. And um, actually probably pays for me to keep the headphones, <laughs> right? All right, everybody. So don't forget, Thursday, we're going to be live at 8 p.m., but I will also be releasing that booth video. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been doing with my booths, um, definitely tune in for that one. And then hopefully I will see you at 8 p.m. live with me and mom and we'll have some fun. All right, everybody. Until then, please take care of yourselves. I'll see you then.